So we have um, assurances from uh, United States Senate because they approved this draft law. So now we are awaiting decision of Congress. We have very active dialogue and negotiations with uh, many congressmen uh, mm -hmm. from both uh, parties. We have bilateral uh, and bipartisan support uh, from, uh, from the Congress. And I believe that during the nearest time, uh, this month uh, or maximum next month, we will have this good news from United States and United States will join to European Union, to G7 coalition, uh, I mean uh, military and financial support of Ukraine in this uh, battle with uh, Russia. And, and, just, and, and what does the year look like for Ukraine if the aid does not come? From the so United States. actually, now we have in. Uh, so we should uh, take a look on both financial and military yeah. issues. So financially, we have uh, IMF program, uh, full scale program from IMF for the four years. We have Ukraine facility from European Union for the four years. We have support from other G7 and uh, other countries, partner countries, mm -hmm. Norway, Netherlands, uh, Japan support us uh, so much, and it let us. Uh, survive in the first half of the year. Second half of the year, we count on the American support, so we will need this to cover our budget deficit. And the second uh, pass, second issue is military support. Actually, yeah. this is huge amount, 50 billions per uh, per this 2024 year. Uh, it's crucial for us, for all of us, for uh, Europe, for Ukraine. Uh, we are very grateful to European Union for establishing and launch of this mechanism uh, Ukraine Assistance Fund, which we will which will cover 5 billion euros per year for uh, military assistance. We are very grateful for Czech initiative to supply to Ukraine uh, eight, uh, 800,000 uh, shells, shells yeah. Yeah. Uh, for artillery. It's crucially important because we need this on the ground, we need this on the front line urgently, uh, just in March or in April, not later, 